Hi everyone, I am Pascal Farpin and I'm very excited to present our work on contact force estimation using raw optical heart rate sensor signals. This work was carried out with my colleagues at the Shared Reality Lab at McGill University, and we're really looking forward to hearing your comments on the new force sensing approach that we're proposing. Wearable devices such as smartwatches and fitness trackers are incorporating increasingly advanced physiological sensors. For optimum performance, such devices need to be worn tightly enough to achieve good skin contact, but also remain comfortable during all day use. Manufacturers currently rely on instructions to provide users with guidelines on how tightly a device should be worn. However, if devices add a way to know how tightly they are being worn in real time, they could potentially recommend tightness adjustments to their users, improving physiological signal data quality. Prior research efforts attempted to achieve this using dedicated force sensing elements, but these added complexity and cost to the device. Our work proposes to instead repurpose a raw optical heart rate signal to estimate how tightly a device is currently being worn. Why did we decide to use the optical heart rate signal? Well, first of all, it's already available in many commercial wearable and medical devices. But more importantly, there's already evidence in the literature that shows how a contact force can influence various properties of the PPG waveform. To look into this, a PPG sensor was pressed onto the participant's wrist with a force ranging between 0 and 2.6 newtons in increments of 0.2 newton. We simultaneously collected PPG measurements. In total, over 50,000 data points were collected from 14 measurement sessions. We extracted a set of 55 features taken from the PPG signal processing literature. We used a bag tree model for force regression and applied step forward feature selection to arrive at a final set of the four most useful features. The force prediction was quite accurate, with a mean absolute error of 0.36 Newton, or 13.5% of the full sensing range. This performance is comparable to that of force-sensitive resistors, which have been shown to have up to 25% of their full sensing range of error. In conclusion, we presented a novel force sensing technique based on the analysis of raw data from a heart rate sensor. We achieved performance comparable to that of FSRs, without the need for extra hardware that would increase the system's cost. Through a software update, our technique could theoretically be applied to any wearable and medical sensors, increasing the quality of the collected signals. However, since the algorithm was designed based on data from a single participant, the proposed method would need to be validated on a larger population, from measurements done from an actual wrist-worn device and under conditions that are more representative of people's daily life.